You mentioned that you just had a tubal ligation and you're wondering what types of activity restriction you have and why um, did your doctor tell you that you have to be restricted for about two weeks or so. And um, the types of restrictions that you have during the recovery period after a tubal ligation will depend on the method used. There's a few different ways that it can be done. And basically, a tubal ligation is blocking the fallopian tubes or creating a barrier using um, cautery, which is burning them. You can tie them off or use a clip. So there's a few different ways to go about that, but in order to access the site, it can be done laparoscopically, where a small incision about a half inch long is made below the belly button and then just above the pubic bone. Um, this is the, the least invasive, um, but then there's other methods where um, it's an abdominal technique where a larger incision is made in the abdomen that's about two to five inches long. And the third method is the um, vaginal method. So obviously the, the restrictions after surgery are going to depend on what method your doctor used. And so I suggest calling the doctor that performed the surgery and based on their knowledge of your circumstances and the exact surgery that was done, they'll be able to tell you what types of activity restriction you have and for how long and why. If you have more questions in the future for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.